goodness. I'll go when you're done, Chris. <laughs> After I get the camera reset. Oh, oh yeah. Oh goodness, I don't like public speaking, so um I was blessed with the opportunity to go on this trip. I wasn't planning on going. Um, I guess it was like two weeks before they were leaving, Jennifer approached, or Jennifer was talking about it in choir and said, we might have to change the date. And I'm like, so I went home and I prayed about it. And I'm like, I'm gonna ask my boss if I can get off. Sure enough, he led the way so I could get off of work that week. And I called Ryan and I said, well, I can go. He's like, well, we might not need you. I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and put in for it, just in case. I mean, it was totally a God thing. I was not planning on going on this trip, but I was destined to be there. And so blessed by each and every one of these children. Um, duct tape would have been helpful for many <laughs> nights, and I think the person I'm referring to knows who I'm referring to. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Seeing these kids just thrive, and um, I haven't spent a lot of time with a lot of the youth other than my son's friends, um, and of course the Darnells, but um, I, I got to know a lot of these older kids, and you just have a wonderful group of children here, and they are the church, and to see them bring people to Christ was just absolutely amazing. And it's an opportunity that I appreciate you providing for me, and I sincerely appreciate it.